This video covers the status lights on the ESP LXD controller modules. The upper left status light indicates the status of the module and its communication with the ESP LXD's front panel. A green light indicates that the decoder module is powered and communicating with the front panel. The lower status light indicates the status of the two-wire path. Red and green blinking every second identifies the communication signal going down the two-wire path. In the ESP LXD, we alternate which leg is hot every second. If this status indicator is dark, it means there is no output to the field. So we've either shut off the two-wire path manually or the controller is in short finding mode, which has cut the power to the field. Now, another module that is available is the SM75 Station Expansion Module. If I insert this into an available slot, the status LED for this module will flash once and then turn off once it is talking to the front panel. The LED status indicators will notify us of a problem. The first condition is the two-wire status light going dark when there is a short to the field, and the controller automatically goes into short finding mode once the short is fixed, the two-wire path returns to its normal red and green alternating flashing. The second failure mode condition might happen if the ribbon cable was disconnected and the front panel couldn't talk to the decoder and station expansion modules. In this case, the status light will turn from green to red to indicate that the front panel and the decoder module aren't communicating. It may take up to a minute for the enumeration status light to go dark. If the 75 station expansion module is unable to communicate with the front panel, it flashes continuously. Check the ribbon's cable connection at both the output board and the front panel. Once the ribbon is reconnected, the module will go through an enumeration process. The light will flash once, then flash as it communicates with the front panel, and then it will turn green once it is ready to go. Let's look at one last condition. If the primary power is cut, you'll see that the two status lights on the decoder module are dark, as well as on the SM75 station expansion module. If we swing the front panel door closed, we'll see an indicator in the upper right that says no power. I'm using a battery backup, which is why the front panel display is on. The display will not power the output board or the modules, so no irrigation will take place. When the power is restored, the no power indicator goes away and the module status LEDs will once again illuminate. Be sure to visit rainbird.com slash ESPLX series for product manuals and FAQs. You can also call us for free professional support for programming and troubleshooting.